Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode number two of the NBA Debates Podcast. I am your host, Cole Clementich, and we got another great show for you guys today. We have a guest on the program, as always. He joined us last time to give us some absolute heat in some of the NBA world and Joining us now, sophomore at University of North Dakota, Samuel Kuntz. Sam, what's good today? Um, nothing much. Nothing much. Any uh, homework assignments? Anything? Well, I, I guess I do have an intramural basketball game at seven o'clock. Oh, there you go. That should be a lot of fun. That's that's basketball related. So, yeah, yeah. good deal. Good deal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, on the show today, Sam, what do we want to talk about? What do we want to debate? Last time we did Michael Porter Jr., uh, who unfortunately is going to be hopefully not out much longer, but his season is in jeopardy uh, with some nerves in his neck. We also covered, uh, who was it? Um, The flopping, right? Yeah, like the rule change. Yep. So what do we want to discuss today, Sam? Anything that is bothering you, maybe as of late in the NBA? Um, I think we could discuss what happened last night with LeBron and Isaiah Stewart. You know what? That's actually a good topic. Let's let's begin with there. So um, actually, I saw part of it. Uh, what was it? His elbow that hit him in the face? I think it was his... Like, his hand, like, he just, like, slapped him, basically. His hand, okay. Yeah, like I said, I kind of saw bits and pieces of it. Um, But, yeah, do you just kind of want to lead a little bit into this one? Kind of give us your take on it so far? Well, yeah, so, um, Shams just tweeted that LeBron was suspended one game and Isaiah Stewart was suspended two. And I think LeBron should have been suspended more than one game because he's the one who hit him and started it but yet Isaiah Stewart still got suspended more I don't think that's how it should have went I know Isaiah Stewart like kind of went psycho mode after and was like trying to like chase down LeBron and everything and making it like just a big scene I think that's probably why he got suspended a little more but I think LeBron should have been suspended more than one game yeah I'm right there with you Sam um yeah LeBron definitely should have gotten more uh, and for the angst, I guess, that he causes not only on the court but off the court, there's just – there seems to be a lot of people that are really ticked off with this guy. Like, of course, he's always – you know, and good on him, you know, for speaking out on certain subjects that are near and dear to his heart. But there, there's just a lot of times where not everyone is as well approached to him as some others. And I, I agree with you there. Um, I know LeBron is, he's the moneymaker. He runs the league. Isaiah Stewart is just some dude on the court and he plays for the Detroit Pistons. But for crying out loud, like we got to, the NBA, they we got to grow some balls, dude. The NBA needs to grow a pair and just mm-hmm. LeBron should have been suspended more games. I'm right there with you. And as for Isaiah, I mean, I don't know, two games. I, he went after him, which, I mean, I guess is it warranted? Maybe. I, you're really only inciting more violence. But I guess the suspension for him is fair. I just think what makes it unfair is that LeBron only got one game, so... But again, he's the NBA's poster boy, their golden child. I I'm not surprised that it was one game. So, yeah. yeah. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Um, no, I think you covered everything. Alrighty, well, we'll continue on here. Uh, s- let's see. Um, so the Nuggets, yeah, they got well, obviously. You and I are both Nuggets fans. Got blasted by. Phoenix last night. Let's talk more Michael Porter Jr. Um, yeah, this is uh, possibly season-ending potentially for Michael Porter Jr. as he has, and it, this has been the deal with him uh, ever since he got drafted, the back issues and 
all these injury the injuries that he's suffered in college. But yeah, going back to his draft years, now we're seeing the results of it. He's got nerves on his neck that could potentially put him in line for a surgery that could end his season. And Sam already were without Jamal Murray. And now we're about to lose MPJ. It potentially this this isn't good for the Nuggets. This I mean, obviously, but uh how much of a bigger blow does this make for the Nuggets now that we're out both Jamal and MPJ? Could there have been something else to um prevent this? Or I guess I just want to hear your thoughts on this. Yeah, and Jokic has been out the last couple games, but I think that's going back to the draft. That's why so many teams were scared to draft him, and that's why he fell so far. I mean, in high school, he was the number one player in the nation, and if he never got that back injury, he would have probably been the number one pick in the draft, but that back injury was just almost like career-altering that a lot of teams are scared to draft him, and as you can see, it's still acting up. And just he, him being injury prone, like I don't know what to think about this. Like a nerve injury being out for the whole season, that's a huge blow. It, it's enormous too, and especially you know going back to last season, he was shooting at an astronomical rate. I I forget the number already, but man, that's just that's a number that no one can replace. That almost like his shooting is just. Top notch, last especially last season. Top notch, best in the league, or, or one of tops in the league at least. Um, historical numbers, like that's just that's hard to replicate, man. And I'll say this: uh, I I won't call you crazy for because you sent me that one post on Instagram. I'm I won't call you crazy now because MPJ for Ben Simmons. Now that this development has come out. MPJ on a max contract and now this happening honestly that's could you have made that trade Denver and Philadelphia MPJ and what was it Bull Bull for Ben Simmons now honestly Sam now I don't think you're that as crazy now <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean I, I just had high expectations for him this season. A lot of people picked MPJ to win most improved player, and I was I thought he was going to be an all-star this year too. But with this back injury, it's like I don't know if we can trust him long term. So you might want to look to move him for somebody like Ben Simmons or Jalen Brown or just somebody that could help the Nuggets like right now because we're trying to win now. Yeah, and I, I'm right there with you. I think Jalen Brown, yeah, definitely having a great year over there in Boston. But, oh man, Sam, this is a huge blow. And already we were without Jokic for an injury, although I think it's more of a minor thing. Uh, wrist injury, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But he's probably going to be more of a day-to-day. -day. But without your two top shooters, Jamal and MPJ, man, I don't know. That's... It's going to be tough for the Nuggets. We'll see. If it's not this year, next year, really got to get lucky with this. So hopefully, you know, better fortunes arise. But uh, yeah, Sam, is there, what do you think? Anything else you'd like to debate? Let's see if we can get maybe one more topic, maybe a couple seconds here worth of uh, content. Anything else that might be bothering you? Um, I'm wondering if you think the Chicago Bulls are the real deal. Chicago Bulls, now help me out here. They haven't made the playoffs in how many years? Because um, it has to have been a while. It's been a couple years. It's been a couple I don't know years. The number off the top of my head. Yeah, with Lonzo Ball in the fold, correct, right? Lonzo Ball, free agent Lonzo's signing. Zach Levine, Zach they also Levine. signed DeRozan, Alex Caruso. Those have been the like DeRozan just I think broke Michael Jordan's record. DeRozan for... is an absolute freak this year, from what I'm mm -hmm. hearing. Yeah. And they also dropped Laurie Markinen, who I'm sure they had high hopes for, but he's in Cleveland now, um doing it up there in uh Ohio. But honestly, Sam, 
it wouldn't surprise me if they made postseason this year. If they keep this up, I I don't think it's a fluke. Well, I mean, how many games? Yeah. How many games are we into the season? Like twenty ish or so. Yeah, around twenty. And around twenty. At the top of the East right now. Top of the East. Now I th- I think they'll fall off a little bit because I don't think that pace. I don't think they can keep up that pace. But to me, they'll keep it enough. They'll be in playoffs this year. You can write it down. He'll record this as I'm qu- quoting Altitude Sports Radio, the favorite uh, talk show, <laughs> sports talk show I like to listen to every day. But uh, yeah, write it up, Sam. Bulls make the playoffs this year. That's my prediction. And what do you think? I agree with you, but I think they're going to be a top two seed. Looking at the teams around them, like the Wizards are number three. I think the Wizards will fall off, but the Bulls have just been so just locked in at the start of the season. They've been playing good. They've been beating good teams. I think I think they'll be a top two seed. Definitely, yeah. I think uh, – I'm not sure if I would go top two seed, but the pace they're going right now, they're definitely – setting themselves up to be in a su- in such a good spot. Heck, they may even host a first-round series or two, but uh, uh, I think they dropped just a little bit. But, Sam, I'm going to say it. They make the playoffs. But, uh, yeah, that being said, that'll do it for our NBA Debates Episode 2. Again, uh, Sam, anything else you'd like to mention? Do you want to tell people about your social media, how you can or how they can contact you if they want to debate you on anything? Um, you can follow me on Instagram, or you could hit me up on Twitter. I don't have an actual account; I just got a burner account. But yep, and I see it every day. It's uh like a J. It's called J Burner account or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, supposed to be a Steelers or, or uh, coming off a Steelers player, I assume. Yeah, but yeah, J Burner account on Twitter. Uh, I think it that. Handles at NBA Newsman, if I'm not mistaken, or is that old, or is it still no, the same? It's still at NBA, still at NBA Newsman. Okay, so yeah, there, I think there's an underscore in there. Yeah, you should be able to find them. Uh, yeah, at NBA Newsman, Jay Burner account, Instagram, Samuel Kuntz. But uh, Sam, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Yeah, no problem. Yep, absolutely. Talking more NBA action, and again, lots more going on. And folks, that'll do it. Basketball fans. Again, you just heard Samuel Koontz. He's a sophomore at the University of North Dakota. We are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to wrap it all up. So, again, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you guys next time.